This is your professional drone setting up guide. What you need to know to set up your drone like a professional filmmaker to get the best results you need to set your drone up for whatever you're going to capture. This video will cover everything you need to know to set your drone up like a pro. Chris here from VideoMaker. There are time codes below if you want to know what we're covering or want to jump to any place in this video. For a limited time, we're giving away our industry white paper on how to pass the FAA Part 107 test for drone pilots. If you ever plan to make money with your drone footage, by law you need to get certified, and our report will help you pass the test easily. Sign up today at videomaker.com drone or click on the card. When you're going out to capture footage from a drone, it's important to treat this exactly how you would a traditional video shoot. You'll want to check your gear, check your media, and check your location. First thing you want to do is make sure your batteries are fully charged. Most drone batteries take hours to charge, so make sure you charge your batteries overnight to avoid major setbacks during film day. Also, give your drone a good inspection to ensure nothing needs to be repaired or replaced. Always check the propellers, the sensors, and the camera. Cinematic movements are rock solid and smooth. Abrupt camera movements are not. That's why you also want to check your controller sensitivity before you take off. If the sensitivity isn't working for you, make adjustments. Most of the time, you can adjust your drone's sensitivity in its companion app. The last thing to check under the gear category is the drone software. Make sure your drone and controller software are up to date. If you have your phone connected to your controller, check to see if you have the most recent app updated and downloaded. Nothing's worse than traveling to a remote location ready to fly, but you have to use what little reception you have to update your app when you could have easily updated it the night before. Next up, you need to check your media. You never want to lose the perfect shot because your drone ran out of storage mid-flight. To avoid this, make sure you have enough media for your shoot. Place a high-capacity memory card in the drone and bring extra cards with you. If you're recording 4K, most drones require a very fast micro SD card. Also, back up all of your footage before you format the card for your next shoot. If you can, bring a portable computer and hard drive so that you can start backing up your media the day of the shoot. This will give you peace of mind knowing that your amazing footage is safe in multiple places. Last on our list is to check your location. Because your drone will be flying, it's important to check the weather ahead of time. A good rule of thumb is if you're hot or cold, so is your drone. So pay attention to the weather warnings on your controller. It's also essential to check your physical environment you'll be flying in. If you're able to, check the location before the day you fly. Check to see if there are any notable obstacles that could be in the way of your path, like thin or reflective surfaces. The best flying conditions for your drone is when the wind speeds are under 25 miles per hour. Most drone software will alert you if wind speeds are too high during your flight. If in doubt, you can always use a weather or drone app to check the wind speed in your location beforehand. Additionally, avoid flying in areas with crowds or areas marked as no-fly zones. You can do this by checking sites like Before You Fly, a free drone safety and airspace awareness platform that will allow you to check which areas are safe to fly, as well as allow you to let other drone pilots in your area know that you'll be flying as well. Also, be sure to pick a safe place where you're going to land your drone before you take off. Most drones have a built-in return home function. The Skydio 2 and 2 Plus both offer custom home return behaviors. After setting a return location within the app, the drone can either manually or autonomously return to your selected location. So now you've checked everything you need to know before you take off. However, there are still some important preparations you'll need to do, like planning out your video story, shot list, and tone. Consider how your drone can create unique perspectives that you can't capture with a traditional camera on the ground. Also. Think about mood or tone of your video and be sure your flight plan will achieve that.
Come with a shot list before you arrive at the location so you can make the most of your flight time. Filmmakers use aerial footage to establish distance and height, evoke emotion, and show off beautiful views. When used correctly, aerial shots can establish a location, add atmosphere, or frame a shot in an interesting way to make the audience experience a place they've never experienced before. Autonomous drones like the Skydio 2 Plus allow you to autonomously capture smooth cinematic footage without requiring the skills of an expert pilot. Features like keyframe make it easy to set up a custom flight path and then let the drone fly the path for you, allowing the drone's technology to deliver smooth transitions that would be impossible for the average pilot to achieve manually. In addition to story and shot planning, also plan your attire for the day. You will spend a considerable amount of time outdoors, so come prepared to engage with that environment. Make sure your shoes are not only comfortable, but also durable, supportive, and have decent traction. Having a hat is going to be immensely helpful as well. Not only will it give you shade, but it'll also help you keep your drone within your line of sight. It also helps that your other clothes are comfortable, practical, and natural looking. Always come to your shoot prepared and with a plan. Double check your gear, media, and environment. Make a plan for the shoot and dress comfortably. If you made it this far, consider subscribing and liking this video. And don't forget to click on this card to get our industry white paper on how to pass the FAA Part 107 test for drone pilots. In the next video, we'll be covering aero footage in post production. Thanks for watching.